Hey, what's up guys? Today is Monday, April 19th, 2021, and this is a video about the European Super League that was uh, announced yesterday on April 18th. So for those of you that don't know, it is a new breakaway competition or breakaway league that was, um, that was announced by 12 European clubs so far. And uh, this is just kind of an idea of what this video is going to be about. So I'm going to divide into multiple segments or timestamps. Uh, so we're going to talk about the format, the teams, the reception, the money, and will this affect the card market and some of my opinion. So let's get straight into it. The format is a new breakaway league that was announced yesterday, and their motto is, quote unquote, the best clubs, the best players every week. And it's basically a league where all the best European teams are going to be supposedly playing, like as in a domestic competition, and then with a tournament at the end of the season. Uh, so this will be a regular league from August to May, just like the Premier League or La Liga. And there will be 20 total teams, including 15 permanent founders, as well as five teams that will remain based on qualifying status. And then you're going to have two 10-team groups that play each other on a weekly basis. And at the end of the season, the top three teams in each group will qualify for the quarterfinals. And the fourth and fifth place teams will battle each other uh, for playoff spots in the, the final two quarterfinal spots. And this is kind of similar to the MLS format where the league is split into two conferences and after the regular season, uh, playoffs will occur and then they'll have a competition style uh, tournament. Or, yeah. And then a, uh, the chairman of the Super League is gonna be Florentino Perez, who is currently the president of Real Madrid. So he's under a lot of fire for, uh, for what he's done with the Super League. And then moving on to the teams. So we have so far 12 founding teams, um, which will come from three countries. So we have the big six in England, uh, the big three in Spain, and also three Italian clubs. So from England, the big six, as we know, are Spurs, Arsenal, Man City, Man United, Chelsea, and Liverpool. The big three in Spain, Atletico and Real Madrid, as well as Barcelona. And then the three clubs from Italy are Inter and AC Milan, as well as Juventus, which are known as probably the three best um, or most historically well-known Italian clubs as well. So there are three more spots for permanent spots as founders. Uh, being a founder will have a lot of benefits. We'll talk about that in a second. So, so far, PSG, Bayern, and Dortmund have also rejected joining the competition, um, which is really good for them. They probably would have taken the last three spots had they accepted, because those are the three other biggest clubs, I guess, one from France and two from Germany. And then the public reception so far has been, you know, pretty bad. A lot of people are disgusted on social media. This is basically everywhere. If you haven't seen this in a day, then you probably haven't checked social media in the last 24 hours. I'm making this video just a day after it was first announced. Um, the implications of a breakaway league would also have severe effects on domestic competition. And players like Ander Herrera and legends like Gary Neville have publicly, publicly denounced the arrival of such competition. Uh, also, FIFA and UEFA have also spoken out against this on top of the domestic league meetings uh, between the non-Super League teams um, uh, about the Super League. And basically, players who play in the Super League may not be eligible to play in the World Cup or Euros or Champions League or domestic competition um, based on what we know so far, uh, because FIFA and UEFA are threatening the players, in a sense. And essentially, these teams with the rich histories will be alienated from their current league status as well as past. And lots of fans, such as Arsenal and Liverpool supporters, have publicly announced their disappointment in their lifelong clubs. And um, some non-diehard fans are definitely going to switch switch teams to support. Um, I understand that's a tough decision. Yeah, if, if if West Ham if West Ham were in that position, if they were you know if they were a big six team and if they had all this history that supported them, you know that would that would really suck. All right, and moving on to the money, the European Super League is a complete money grab, hands down. That is the sentence. And the founding clubs are to receive 3.5 billion euros as a starting support money supply, as well as uh, the fact that J.P. Morgan Chase, the American bank, will fund $5 billion U.S. dollars to the competition. And um, yeah, so basically you have an American bank that knows nothing about soccer, but they see the economic opportunity in the Super League and they fund it. Boom. All right, well, if that doesn't say anything, then you probably don't know a lot about soccer or money. Players will also be paid sums of money that have not seen, that we have not seen before, like insane, super big salaries, like, you know, like Chinese Super League salaries that they pay, that they pay Brazilian players. It's, it's going to be crazy. And uh, even if these clubs get an infinite sum of money, the impact that it will have on domestic leagues and other clubs that are not part of the Super League will be quite dramatic as these teams, the teams in the Super League, uh, 
are producing most of the TV revenue uh, for a lot of the leagues. For example, like with La Liga, Barcelona, Atletico, and Real are producing almost half probably of the televised money. Uh, the Premier League is the only league where the TV revenue is kind of split between the teams for the most part. Like obviously the big six produce a lot more for their more than their proportion, but the Premier League would probably still be able to survive without them. But um, yeah, leagues like the like La Liga especially, absolutely not. And so what is my opinion? Well, you guys probably already know I'm absolutely against this. Uh, this the points mentioned before just completely reinforce that. I don't see any plus side really to supporting supporting the, the Super League. You guys still let me know in the comments down below what you guys think as well. I haven't really seen much support from anyone. The only upside, I'm trying to think positive here, is personally that the removal of the Big Six would probably give West Ham a better shot at, you know, being league leaders in the future or qualifying for the Champions League as we do stand in fourth place right now, even though we are a game. Uh, we have an extra, we've already played an extra game. And um, the last big question is, will this affect the card market? And personally, I absolutely think that this will, because if it goes through, first of all, either Panini or Tops will get the sole license to the league and whichever one gets it first will have a very big impact on their sales and their prices and everything. Um, products that are focused on the Champions League and Premier League and other leagues will probably lose popularity because all the big names are going to be in Super League products unless most of these big name players just leave their teams, which probably won't happen. Um, also, the creation of the Super League may cause prices to shoot up even more already given our inflated market, given the scale of funding given to the league, uh, getting the licensing um, is going to be a very, very very important part for either Panini or Tops to get it. And once they do get it, those products are gonna be very expensive because of the scale of the league. So overall, it's still a bit too early to tell what will happen as we basically see no support between a lot of players and even managers, but mostly the fans. And the fans are really what make up the sport, right? Um, so it's a beautiful game. Let's not ruin it. We'll see what happens. Leave your comments down below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Peace.